In this video we're going to be looking at rail shots, so potting balls that are tight to the cushion. With all other cue sports the cue ball and the object ball are the same size, so in theory if you hit the object ball and the cushion at exactly the same time you should make the pot. However in British 8 ball pool this doesn't work because the cue ball is smaller than the object ball. Because the cue ball is smaller you actually end up cutting the ball away from the pocket. If you're close to the pocket then you might still make the pot, but if the object ball has to travel any distance then you are likely to miss. The best way to think about rail shots is just to imagine that the cushion isn't there. Line up the shot exactly as you would with the ghost ball in line with the pot and play the shot. Apart from the cushion itself, the other thing that makes rail shots missable is that the object ball is approaching the pocket at a narrow angle. This means that the object ball will invariably hit the far jaw of the pocket before dropping in. To give the ball the best chance of dropping in, it's best to play these shots as softly as you can. The harder you hit the shots, the more likely the object ball is to bounce off the other jaw as well and come back out of the pocket. There are also two other ways that you can play rail shots, and whether you use them really depends on where you need the cue ball to end up. The first method is to play the cushion first. The cue ball then strikes the object ball on the way out, so the cue ball will travel further forwards. The second method, which can be useful for position, but also to give the object ball a greater chance of going into the pocket, is to play the shot with some running side. Running side is when you strike the cue ball on the side furthest from the cushion. When the cue ball then comes into contact with the object ball, some of that spin is then transferred. This is effectively like a very soft swerve shot, pulling the object ball into the cushion as it travels down the rail. It also helps when it hits the far jaw of the pocket because the spin then pulls the object ball into the pocket. As always when playing with side you need to be careful and I wouldn't advise using it if the cue ball is more than a foot away from the object ball. Try these three different approaches and get a feel for how each one works and the differences it makes to your position. So this is a little practice routine you can do to sharpen up your rail potting skills. Um, apologies for the sound effects in the background but my other half was making sausages for lunch when I recorded this video. Um, so basically you place four balls at each end um, about 12 inches from the corner pockets and then just work your way through putting the balls. Um, obviously the hardest thing with this is at some point you've got to get from one end to the other so you've either got to play a good positional shot or if you don't like I've done there then you need to play a fairly long pot along the rails which is not too easy. Um, Try not to leave yourself too straight on any of the shots. Give yourself a bit of an angle each time so you've got a better chance of getting onto the following ball. Remember to play the shots nice and gently wherever you can so that you're not forcing anything into the pockets. And if you get a chance to try out one of the three different methods we talked about earlier, then you can try that. Um, if you get a chance, you play the cushion first or perhaps play it with running side if it helps you get a slightly better position on the next shot and try and build those into the routine as well. If you do find yourself too straight on a shot like I have here, then I know that I could quite easily screw this ball back to get a better position on the red, but I also know that I'm going to be hitting the yellow too hard and I'm likely to miss the pot. So I'm accepting that that's not the shot to play and I've played it softer knowing it's going to leave me a longer shot, but it's worth bearing that in mind and not risking missing the pot in the first place. So if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous then you could try this variation. So same as before but then you have an extra four balls further up the cushions and then a couple of balls in the middle of the table just in case you run out of position. Now I'll be completely honest with you, I've never completed this drill so don't expect to find it easy, it's, it's a very tough one to do. Um, this is just the furthest I ever got with it on camera. Um, so same as before, um, it's probably best to take the the balls like we had in the last routine first are the ones nearest to the pocket to clear those out of the way and then you've got the four longer balls along the rails um, and then if you run out of position you can either take one of these balls from the middle to get yourself in another position or as I'm doing here you can take the longer shot but even if you don't complete this routine then it's still worth doing um, the more you practice rail shots then the less afraid of them you need to be in a match
Thank you.